Hi, I am going to quickly walk you through the steps that we went over in the faculty meeting today in case you're interested in using Answer Garden tomorrow and you want to go and practice the steps on your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to answergarden.com, excuse me, .ch, .ch. See, it's such a knee-jerk reaction, but if you go to .com, it's not there. You need to go to answergarden.ch. When you go there, this is the screen you should see, so if you've accidentally gone to .com, this is not what it looks like. You don't need a login, you don't need to create an account, and neither do your students. That's why I love the site. All you have to do as the facilitator is go up to the plus sign, type in your question here, I typically like brainstorm because it means that all of my students can respond an unlimited number of times, but you can flip through and make the choices. It has a description right here for the different ways um, each of these things give access. You choose your answer length, 20 or 40. Type in a password so that you can go back and access and edit this later. Things for edit for me are typically if I have a student who decided to be silly and funny and I don't want that answer choice there, I can go in and tell the answer garden to not display that choice. Um, so it's, it's nice to have that option in case you need it. I have my reminder email so that I don't forget the website that I've created and then it defaults to your spam filter being turned off. I also like to hide my question. It's not meant for the public, it's just meant for my students. So I click over to hidden. Once you've done all that, you can click create. Sure. <laughs> and that's it. That's all you need to do. From there, um, an easy way would be QR codes if your students have access to a QR code reader, maybe on their phone if you wanted to do that. Um, you can also click export. There's nothing to share. This share would be ways for your students to get access to the link. This is the link here. And you'll notice it's the exact same at the top. So you can either copy and paste from the web line up here or from down at the bottom. 